Boys Garage where we recently installed our Brimble Big Brake Kit. Now, we're going to be putting in some high temp brake fluid. We're personally going to use Motul 600 because we'll see some track days, but mostly street. Using our pressure bleeding system, we're going to bleed out the entire brake system and swap in the new fluid. When you're taking the old fluid out and putting the new in, you have to load the pump kit with your new fluid. off, snap it off. Pull it up and pull it up. Okay. Nice clean run. With the reservoir empty and your new fluid, hook up to the reservoir. Go to 15 PSI. With 15 PSI, you can open the valve. Pumping pull fluid. And you want to maintain 15 psi. We start with the right rear, the furthest point away from the reservoir, using our 9 millimeter tubing wrench. To break it loose. Hook up your catch can. And then open it up. And once you have it open, you'll notice fluid begins to come out. And it'll go right in your catch can. We're using a different color fluid. So we'll see once our new fluid is through the line. While it's draining, come back up, check the pressure. You wanna maintain 15 PSI throughout the process. Now we're pretty close, but we'll give it a couple more pumps. Keep an eye on the line. We're starting to see that it's changing color. So we know we're getting to our fluid. Still a little bit blue. We're getting close. That's new stuff. And that's our new fluid. So we're done here. You can use your nine millimeter. Close it down. And then use soap and water to spray it down and clean. You don't want to break fluid eating away. back make sure you still have 15 psi now we're going to do the driver's side rear we're going to repeat that same process the right rear we see it's 
giving our new fluid, so we're good on this side. An important note for our fronts, because we have the big brake kit, we do have two bleeding points that you need to use. Don't just use one, bleed both. In the event that when you hook up using your catch can and this does not flow, what you're most likely dealing with is a clog in the tip of the bleeding system. And this clog happens because of rust, sediment, things like that because brake fluid does attract water. So you're gonna deal with those kinds of things. What you'll do is just remove it all the way. And you wanna hold that down to keep that clean. It's gonna make a mess. Use an ice pick and clean out all the different inlets and outlets. Have someone hold that leak and then use brake cleaner to spray it out away from the car. Before removing the bleeder tip from the caliper to clean it, make sure that you depressurize the system. Otherwise, it's really gonna blow out in your face. Once you're done cleaning, put it back on, tighten it back up. And then repressurize the system. And then you can check its flow. Remember, you're always maintaining 15 PSI. Wipe it down well with soap and water. Make sure to continually monitor fluid levels in your reservoir and in your pump kit. If you let this go dry, you're gonna have air in your lines. Normally, one and a half bottles will do the trick to do the bleed, and uh, the rest of that second bottle we use just to top off the reservoir when you're done. It's good to note, if at the end of your job, you do have a code thrown, it's most likely because you let air get in your lines and you'll have to clear that. All four sides are done. You've closed, cleaned, and tightened everything back down. Now we can remove the system. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start depressurizing it. You're gonna leave that line open and push the button to depressurize it. Okay, it's depressurized. And we can close this valve back and remove the pump. Pour what fluid is left back into the bottle, and we're going to use that to fill the rest of the reservoir. Check your reservoir level. Ours is about halfway full. Then get in the car, pump the brakes, make sure they feel good. They should be nice and firm. And these are good to go.